We decide to go no contact with my mother-in-law for the rest of my pregnancy. Until she decides to apologize for what she's done, we don't want to speak to her. A few weeks before my due date, my mother-in-law reaches out to my husband and says he misses her and my daughter. So he asks if we can go have dinner to try to mend the relationship. I said okay, but I didn't feel comfortable bringing my daughter, so I left her to my sister. At dinner, my husband asks his mom if she's ready to apologize. She said she's ready, but as soon as she gets the paternity test result, because my husband cannot be the father and the fact that we have two girls is ridiculous. I proceed to grab my things because I'm not listening to this when she grabs me and slaps me as hard as she can across the face. She calls me an effing whore and says I need to own up to my problems. I push her away trying to get to the door as fast as possible when she throws a snow globe at my head. I fall to the ground and that's when she starts kicking me. In my belly. My husband pushes her off of me and she breaks two fingers but takes me to the hospital where I receive six stitches. She then tried to press charges against my husband saying he assaulted her. But the hospital had more than enough proof to put her in jail. I sent her a gift in jail. The paternity result showing that her son is the father of my two daughters.